Welcome back to Jersey Shore Guitar Garage. On today's episode, we talk about how Josh from JHS has made me completely insane. Stick around. Welcome to Jersey Shore Guitar Garage. Quality hand-wired guitar electronics to express your true tone. Unleash the power in your hands. I've been on the hunt for overdrives and digging through a whole bunch of things. I've been using the Green Rhino along with my amplifier distortion for a couple of years now. Not that I don't like it, I do. It's a little noisy from time to time for how I like to play now. I want to roll my volume down and I want to just clean up when, uh, when I roll that volume down without having to step on a pedal, without having to go anywhere. I can do it right from my guitar. Well, this is tending to be a little noisy for me lately. So I've been through a bunch of overdrive pedals lately looking for that next thing that I want to play with. And thank you to Sweetwater who allows me to buy a pedal, try it in my rig for a little while and return it in that 45 day window without consequence. Super cool. I found in my quest for overdrive and distortion, the JHS show, and it's ruined my life. Every time I turn on YouTube, there's Josh's big giant head telling me something about compression or the cheapest pedals that you can possibly buy that still sound good. Well, that's been the problem. Thanks, Josh. Not only do I see you all the time, every time I open my computer or phone or any device, thanks for that. But every pedal that you've talked about that's any kind of remotely affordable has tripled in price as soon as you talk about it. Thanks. The only thing left that I can buy that's out there still that I can't even afford now, thanks to you, is a JHS pedal. So we're gonna try to replace my green rhino today with your morning glory. So let's see how that goes. I'm sure it, it's not gonna be good at all. Why, why would it be? It's probably terrible. So I've got my quilter plugged into a speaker cab here that you're not gonna hear. You're gonna hear this little line out because solid state is terrible. Why, why would I use anything good? I know your pedal is not gonna be any good, so why use a good amp, right? I'm stacking my overdrives between the Green Rhino and what looks like a little custom box on my little homemade pedal here, but it's not really. This is just a rehoused classic overdrive from Guitar Center. This is an MXR pedal. And I have it rehoused because I drilled a hole in it and put a little switch in here for that little secret switch that's on the inside. So I guess it's modded, kind of, not really. So that's it, that's what's here. Let's listen to what I got, get a bass line and see how bad a JHS pedal is gonna be compared to all of this. That's the quilter on its own. Let's add a little overdrive. Yikes. And then stack some overdrive on top of that. It's not too bad. I mean, I use it. This is my rig, so of course I like it. Let's uh, let's throw on a little blues jam and see how this sounds.
Okay. I think that's a pretty good baseline of distortion. I mean, a pretty bad baseline. It's terrible. It sounded awful. Why would solid state ever sound good? You said that yourself. So, all right, Josh. It's JHS time. And I even got the box. Does that happen every time we open one of your boxes? Creepy, dude. I want to know how you do that. Directions, we don't, we don't need those. It's an overdrive pedal. How hard can it be to, to work? Can't be that bad. So I think we're going to take out this noisy green rhino. Holy crap. All right, we'll just do this. All right. The guitar makes noise. How bad is this JHS pedal?
well, I kind of got away from myself with this one. So, um, I guess you did good, Josh, because I like it and I can't stop playing it. And um, it's the only overdrive that's left to buy on the market because Josh has driven up the price and demand for all the cheap pedals that are out there. The only thing that's left for you guys to go buy that's even available or affordable is the JHS Morning Glory. That's it, that's all that's left. It's garbage, it's terrible, don't buy it.